earth we did esteem him, stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. The smiting was prophesied. The beating was prophesied, predicted that his body will suffer, and that he'll do that for the sinner to be our substitute. Verse 5, but he was wounded in the head, at the back, with the weeps, with the stripes, with the reed, with the rod, with the crown of thorns, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised, broken body, bruised body. He was bruised for iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, and with his stripes, you have no reason to retain any sickness in your body. There is no sickness incurable when you look at the broken body of Christ by stripes were healed. All we like sheep have gone astray and we have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord has laid on him, tell me, the iniquity of us all. If you are not saved, if you remain not saved, till death, what will you tell God in eternity when you cross over? What will you tell Christ on the other side when you cross over? The Almighty God has laid all your iniquities on him. And Christ has borne the load, the punishment of all your iniquities, even your sicknesses. If you are not saved, if you remain in sin until death, what will you tell the Lord? Verse 7, he was oppressed, he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before our shearers is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. It was for you. It was for me. It was for us all. We have no reason to remain in sin. You will not remain in sin. We have no reason to remain in sickness. You will not remain in sickness. First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Who his own self bear our sins? Tell me. You are not there. First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Who his own self bear our sins? Tell me now. In his own body, broken body, smitten body, beaten body lacerated body he bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed your healing of the soul your healing of the body has been recorded in heaven before you are sick. You didn't hear that one. Yeah. Salvation for everyone. Yeah. Healing for everyone. Yeah. Look up here. Many times we tie our healing to the pastor. The pastor is not involved. He bore your pain. 
He bore your sickness. He bore your infirmity. Pastor or no pastor. Intercessor or no intercessor. He has taken away your sicknesses. By, tell me, his tribes, you were healed. Brother, I heard you were sick. Yes, pastor. And I'm still sick. Why? They didn't give me the green light, the leeway to see you. I've been waiting for you. And I knew once I see you, I'll be healed. You're misplacing your healing. Once you see Christ, you're healed. Once you remember by his stripes, you are healed. And you take that, and you embrace that, and you believe that, sickness will vanish away from your body. You look at somebody, you've been coming to the church for such a long time, and you don't appear to be saved. Yes, you are right. Not saved, not born again. Why? I've been waiting for when the church will have a crusade in our area. I come to church, I hear the word of God, but I know if I'm going to be saved, an evangelist will come and talk to me personally and then lead me in the sinner's prayer and I will be saved. You tie your salvation to a man, to an evangelist, your salvation is in Christ. Give me a good amen. amen. Brush the evangelist and the preacher and the crusades aside today. Christ has been presented to you. He bore all your sins in his own body on the tree. It's been done already that we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness. Salvation has come. I believe. I receive. You turn away from sin. Believe on the Lord. Your salvation is definite in Jesus' name. Saved. Healed. Strong. Upright. Strength, strength, strength in it. All sicknesses and weaknesses are gone in Jesus' name. Now, before I go to point number three, let me show you a verse you need to underline. Will you take note of this verse I'm going to read to you? Will you accept this verse I'm going to read to you? Will you experience this verse I'm going to read to you? I won't read if you don't answer me. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 33. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 24. Isaiah chapter, 20, chapter 33, verse 24. And the inhabitants shall not say... I am sick. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. I will not say I am sick. Christ has taken my sicknesses away. My sins are forgiven. I will not bear guilt anymore in my life. The inhabitants of the land, the inhabitants in the church, the members of the church of the living God shall not say, let the weak say, I am strong. The people that dwell therein, shall be forgiven their 
iniquity. Did somebody say amen? Point number three. The purchased blessing through his blood. The purchased blessing through his blood. Matthew chapter 26. Matthew 26 verse 27. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, Drink ye all of it. Drink ye all of it. Uh, let me read this two ways. Are you paying attention? Drink ye all of it. That means all of you, all of you, drink ye all of it. As you drink this, remember, this is for your salvation, for your redemption. There's no exception and there's no exclusion. Don't exclude yourself. Drink ye all of it. I'm going to read it the second way now. Drink ye all of it. There's salvation there. There's sanctification there. There's healing there. There's strength there. There's dominion there. There's power there. There is sufficiency there. Drink ye all of it. You will not miss any blessing of God in Jesus' name. Verse 28, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of their sins. It's the blood that brings the remission, the removal, the forgiveness of your sin. You know, somebody is trying to repent and is trying to beat himself. He wants to feel the sorrow for his sin. And he wants all the adjectives he can find in the dictionary. I am wretched. I am wicked. I am terrible. I am ugly. I am bad. I'm the worst of all creatures. And he's trying to cry. He's trying to shed tears. And then you get to him, you say, are you safe yet? No, I have not wept enough. I have not been sorry enough. I have not had the real guilt enough. I want the dagger of God's judgment to strike my heart so that I can feel the pain. Then I'll get saved. This is my blood, not your pain, not your sorrow, not your crying, not the dagger, nothing. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for the remission, forgiveness of sin. It's the blood. Your tears cannot be stronger than the blood of Jesus. Your pain, your grief, and your rolling on the ground cannot be stronger, greater than the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has been shed for you. Salvation is already available. Look at Acts chapter 20, verse 28. Acts 20, verse 28. Take it, therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers to feed the church of God which he has purchased with his own blood purchased with his own blood purchased with his own blood is a purchased blessing your salvation is purchased already. Somebody went and he paid for a car. He got the key. He got the receipt. He didn't write the receipt in his name. He put your name on the receipt. 
and he brought it to you and he said here is the key here is the car here is the receipt all in your name purchased 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 and then he says thank you you hand the key somewhere you're still taking the public transport and you're still walking with your feet and the car is there and it's in your name you're hanging the key somewhere and the person who purchased it came to you and said i don't see you riding the car i don't see you going out in the car what's the matter i'm trying to pay for it i gave it to you as a gift yes i know but i must not use it while i feel it is free i must keep on trekking i must keep on taking public transport until i feel i have suffered enough i have warmed enough i've labored enough for that car and there's no point if you want to labor enough there's no point for the free gift that's what many people are doing for salvation i'm trying to turn over a new leaf i'm trying to do my best i'm trying to uh, clean up my life i'm trying to i'm trying to endeavor that i will live as a real christian and then i will take that salvation but that's not right it's a purchased possession and you can see it in that verse 28 that which is purchased handed over to you you will take in jesus name you will enjoy in jesus name thank god i am saved thank god i am saved you will be as saved as i am my salvation will not be greater than yours my righteousness will not be greater than yours the same gift, the same salvation, receive freely the moment you say, I accept, it is yours today in Jesus' name. <laughs> Romans chapter 3. Romans chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of god being justified tell me the word be justified tell me what you see there freely by his grace through the redemption that is in christ jesus whom god has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood you see that through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that have passed all your past sins they'll go under that blood forgiven forgotten today in jesus name through the forbearance of god look at chapter 5 of romans Verse 8, Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God commended his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, while we were yet sinners, while we were yet sinners, look up here. Some sinners, they, are, they want to be saved. And they are saying, I'm too bad. I'm too wretched. I'm too simple. I'm going to stop all this by myself. I use my willpower. I use my natural strength. I'll use punishment. I even do penance. 
If I need to punish myself, I will punish myself. I must not continue in sin. And then after I have overcome all these sins, and I can come to the Lord and say, Lord, I did a good job. I fought against that sin. I fought against that habit. I fought against that deficiency in my life. And now look at me. I am now good enough for salvation. Uh -uh. You have missed the point. Could your tears forever flow? Could your seal no respite, no. All these for sin cannot atone. Only Christ and Christ alone can save. While we were yet sinners, as you are still in your sin, that's when you come to Christ. Don't say, I'm going to be better. I'm going to turn over a new leaf. As yet we were sinners, Christ died for us. He died for you. Much more than being now justified by what? Justified by what? By his blood. We shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son much more being reconciled we shall be saved by his life nothing remains to be done everything has been done for your salvation Colossians chapter 1 Colossians chapter 1 I'm reading from verse 13. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom, tell me, we have, present tense, we have, I have, I have, you have, we have, amen. In whom we have redemption. Tell me now. Through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. Through his blood. Through his blood. Somebody help me. Through his blood. Roman, sorry, Hebrews chapter 9, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 12, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 12, neither by the blood of goats and cows, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained, having obtained, Having obtained, look up here. Somebody went and he took a form that you need, and he took his own form, and he's coming back there. And you are going to that same office, and he met you on the way, and he said, Where are you going? You say, I'm going to that office. What are you going to do? I'm going to obtain such and such a form. Don't worry. Look at it. I obtained it for you. Will you then still say, no, I still must get there myself. They are closing. And I knew that the closing hour was, come, was coming. That's why I took it for, no, no, no. I'll go there myself. Will you do that? He has obtained redemption for you. I said you obtain redemption from you. And while you're still going, you're still searching. What are you searching for? I'm searching for redemption. Look at it. He obtained it for you. Get it. You are redeemed. Verse 12. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered 
in once into the holy place have been obtained have been obtained eternal redemption for you he did it for me for me i said it's for me revelation chapter 7 i'm reading from verse 14 revelation chapter 7 verse 14 and i said unto him sir that knowest and he said unto me these are they which came out of great tribulation and they have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb made them white in the blood of the lamb any dirty robe spiritually morally will be washed clean today in the blood of the lamb therefore at thee before the throne of god you'll be before the throne of god eventually and serve him day and night in his temple and he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell with them they shall hunger no more neither thirst any more neither shall the sun light on them nor any heat for the lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters and god shall wipe away all tears from their eyes all because of the blood of the lamb and it's for you and it's for you and it's for you and christ is waiting to receive you in heaven i'll be there i'll be there i'll be there we have all the benefits for every believer it's all for us we have the benefits of his broken body it's all for us and we have the blessings of his pure blood and it's all for us rise up pray thank the lord and receive tell the lord now i believe now i believe now i believe it's all for me all the blessings are for you through his blood you need to commit yourself into the hands of the lord christ is waiting to receive us he's waiting to receive you my sister he's waiting to receive you my brother and that's why you need to rise up now commit yourself into the hands of god the lord has spoken through his servants the word of god is clear the word of god is straight the word of god is simple this is the moment to get the blessings into our lives to get the benefits of his broken body of his shed blood into our life don't allow the devil to deceive you at this time stay where you are it is time to pray stay where you are it is time to lift up your voice to the god of heaven and commit yourself into the hands of god christ is waiting to receive those whose dirty robes and garments have been washed and so you are going to commit yourself now into the hands of god you are going to tell the lord i come to you just as i am right now open your mouths pray don't allow the devil to keep your mouth closed let's pray in the word the word that we have heard the message that we have received from a servant lord i come to you just as i am without one plea your blood was shed for me your body was broken for me and lord here am i here am i here am i here am i i come unto you i come unto you i know you will receive me i know you will save me i know you will restore me from my backsliding brothers and sisters open that voice lift it up to the god of heaven he's hearing you he's hearing you he's hearing you if you remain unsaved till death what are you going to tell christ when you cross over to the other side if you remain unsaved despite a sacrifice despite all that he has done 
despite his broken body, despite his shed blood, if you are still not saved until your crossover, until the day of death comes, what are you going to tell the Lord up there? Please pray for yourself right now. Lord Jesus, just as I am, I come unto you. Just as I am, I come unto you. Just as I am, I come unto you. I bring myself before you. Be sincere before God. Jesus is standing by your side where you are there. The blood is still flowing from Calvary today. His blood is still flowing and it's flowing by the side where you are. If only you can open up yourself and say, Lord, here am I. I appropriate that blood. Bring that blood into my life. Let it wash my heart. Let it clean my heart. The Lord is going to save you. The Lord is going to have mercy upon you. The Lord is going to deliver you from whatsoever has tied you down before now. What have you received from God? What have you received from God? Are you saved? Are you look at your life? Are you saved? No, I'm a member of deeper life. We're not talking about being a member of deeper life. Are you saved? I am a committed member in this church. I was born in the church. I started from the children's church. Are you saved? That's what the Lord is asking you this morning. You have been coming all the years. You have been hearing the word. Are you genuinely saved? Are you truly born again? Are you a real child of God? Are you a real child of God? Saved, saved from your sin? Saved, saved from your backsliding? Are you saved? Are you saved? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Search your heart. Look at your heart. Look at your life. Commit yourself into the hands of God. Remember, you can deceive man. You can deceive God. You can deceive the church. You can deceive the Almighty God. And Jesus is waiting to receive only those that their garment is cleansed. Their garment washed, washed in his precious blood. What have you received from God? Are you saved? Are you saved? Are you sanctified? Are you spirit-filled? Every provision has been made for you, for me, my brothers and sisters. Commit yourself now into the hands of God. The Lord is looking at you. He's looking at you from heaven right now. Whether you are keeping quiet or whether you are sincerely praying from the depth of your heart, whether you are really looking up to him, seeking him with your spirit with all your soul with all your mind don't allow the devil to cheat you don't allow the devil to cheat you don't allow the devil to cheat you this is the moment to transfer the benefit into your life practically now it is through prayer it is through seeking the face of god it is through calling on him it is through crying unto him that you are going to transfer all those benefits into your life pray for yourself pray for yourself Purge out, therefore, the old leaven. Tell the Lord right now, search me, O God. Search me, O God. Every sign, every characteristics of the sinful life, purge them out of me, O Lord. Purge them out of me, O Lord. The characteristics of malice, the characteristics of wickedness, the characteristics of insincerity, the characteristics of hypocrisy, all those life, Lord, purge them. The old leaven, the life of the old leaven, purge out of me, Lord. Purge them out of me, Lord. Purge them out of me, Lord. My sister, are you really praying for yourself? My brother, are you really praying for yourself? It's time to pray. It's time to seek the face of the Lord. Jesus is waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting for you. Send out your prayers to him right now. He's by your side. The blood is still flowing by your side where you are. And yet you, you can be pushed this moment. Tell the Lord, search my heart, search my life, search my spirit, search every part of me, Lord. Search my language, search my actions, search my thoughts, search my relationship with people. Search my interaction, oh God. For I come to you this morning and this moment. Lord, search me, search me and purge out all this old leaven kind of life. Purge them out of my life. Purge them out of my life. Purge them out of my life. Commit yourself into the hands of God right now. Commit yourself into the hands of the Lord right now. I will not go back to the old life. Can somebody open their mouth and begin to tell the Lord right now? I will not go back to the old life. The life you are purging me this morning, Lord, I will not go back to the old life. I will not go back to the sinful life. That life that you are delivering me from at this time. I will not go back to the old life. Let somebody begin to commit himself, herself into the hands of God. I don't have license to commit sin, and therefore, Lord, I'm making up my mind. I'm not going back to the old life. I'm not going back to the old hypocritical life, the old insincere life. I am not going to go out of the cover of the blood that washed me. 
the blood that cleansed me. I will not step out of the cover of that blood. I will remain within the cover of the blood. I will remain within the cover of the blood. My brother, my sister, have you backslidden? This is the moment to say, Lord, I am coming back the way I am to you. I am not present. I am not bringing myself as a good man, as a good woman. No, Lord, I was once in the face, but now I've gone back. I've backslidden. So, Lord, I come to you. I come to you. I come back to you. The Lord will receive you. The Lord will receive you. Just come. Backsliders, come. Backsliders, come. Backsliders, come. Tell him you are returning. Don't, don't, don't mind the fact that I have been, I've been with Christ before. I have done this and that. I have done great exploit. This is the moment to come back. The moment of decision. Make that decision and tell the Lord, I am returning to you today. I am returning to you today. I am returning to you today. And that person that is still living in sin, all the evil things you do, you know your heart is condemning you. Your conscience is condemning you. You are telling the Lord, Lord, I am coming to you. I'm not hiding myself from you. You have seen me the way I am. I come to you. I come to you. I come to you. For God has not appointed us unto wrath. He has not appointed you unto wrath. Let somebody open their mouth and pray to God this morning. And tell the Lord, as you save me this morning, by your grace I will stand till the end. I will not miss heaven by the grace of God. I will not miss rapture by the grace of God. I will not be here during the time of the Antichrist by the grace of God. My name will not be removed from the book of life. Is somebody praying there? Open your mouth and pray. Lord, Lord, you have not appointed me unto wrath. I'm not missing heaven. I am not missing the rapture. By the grace of God, you will keep me till the end. You will hold me tight. You will hold me strong. You will hold me faithful until the very end. I am not giving up. I am not giving up. I am not giving up. Commit yourself into the hands of God. Commit yourself into the hands of God. Jesus is by your side there. He's listening to you. He's listening to your commitment. He's listening to your consecration. He's listening to the prayers that you are making unto him. Commit yourself into the hands of the Lord right now. The Lord Jesus is listening. He's listening. Church, open your mouth. Open your mouth. This is the moment. Pray in the word. Pray in the word. I will be a man of the book. I will be a woman of the book. We will be a church of the book that stands on the word of God, the truth in the scripture. Man of the book, woman of the book, church of the book. Stand on that word. Stand on that word. And what has the book revealed unto us this morning? The word of God has revealed unto us that we need to praise Jesus. We need to praise Jesus for the breaking of his body. We need to praise Jesus for the breaking of his body. Let's open our mouth and begin to tell Jesus, thank you for the fights on the cross thank you for the sacrifice on the cross thank you for the sacrifice on the cross for dying for me on the cross for dying for my sins on the cross my brothers and sisters you could have been crucified on the cross but he decided to do that on our behalf you could have been nailed to the cross but Jesus went on our behalf are we not going to open up this morning and say Lord Jesus I just come to say thank you I just come to say thank you for what you did on Calvary's cross. His visage was mad more than any man. His appearance was mad more than any man. Disfigured. Think about the stripes on his body. Think about the crown of thorns. Think about the nail prints on his hands, on his feet. Think about the spear. Think about the cross. Oh, I should have been crucified on that cross. I should have been nailed to that cross. I should have been beaten with those stripes. Jesus, I say thank you this morning. Jesus, I say thank you this morning. I say thank you this morning for undertaking that, that sacrifice for me. I am grateful. I am grateful. Are you not grateful? My sister, open your mouth and pray. Brothers, open your mouth and pray. He suffered for us. He died not for his sins. He had no sin. It was all because of you. He was smitten, he was beaten, he was wounded, he was bruised. Praise him for shedding his own blood. Praise him this morning for shedding his own blood. Lord Jesus, thank you you shed that blood. Thank you. Supposing he did not die on the cross, we would have been marching to hell. But this morning we need to say, Lord Jesus, thank you. The blood was shed. And today I have a testimony that I'm a child of God. Today I have a testimony that I am saved. Today you have a testimony you are righteous. Oh, begin to worship this God. Begin to worship this God. Begin to worship this God. You have no reason to remain in sin, to remain in sickness. No reason to remain in sin, to remain in sickness. By his stripe, we are healed. By his stripe, we are healed. 
open your mouth now claim for yourself spiritual killing oh god i claim my spiritual killing for this my christian life my spiritual life i claim my spiritual killing i claim my spiritual killing claim it for yourself claim it for yourself your spiritual killing claim it for yourself physical killing i claim my physical killing oh lord i have no reason to remain in sin I have no reason to remain in sickness, for by his stripe I am healed. The inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. I claim my spiritual healing. I claim my physical healing. Begin to claim your financial healing. Claim your marital healing. Claim your academic healing, students and children. Claim, claim, claim your healing. It's your own. His blood bought it for you. His blood purchased it for you. Begin to claim it right now. Claim it right now. Claim it right now. Lord, I claim what belongs to me. I receive what the blood has purchased for me. And tell the Lord, from today, it will be Jesus only and Jesus ever in my life. I'm not waiting for a crusade. I'm not waiting for a preacher to be saved. I'm not waiting for a crusade to be saved. But it's Jesus only and Jesus ever. He has finished it on the cross. He has done the whole work on the cross. Christ has redeemed us from every cause of the law. Begin to tell the Lord right now, I am redeemed from the cause of the law. I am set free from the weakness of the law. I am redeemed. I am set free from the, call, from, the, from the cause of the law. And then tell the Lord, give me grace to live the Christian life that you have purchased for me from this morning until the day I will see you face to face. Tell the Lord, give me that grace from this morning, O oh God, to live this Christian life from today until I will see you face to face. Face to face. Give me the grace. Give me the grace, Lord. Give me the grace, Lord. Give me the grace. As I step out of this church, I am living the Christian life. As I go to the office tomorrow, to the place of business, to my school, I am living the Christian life. The Christian life, the overcoming life. Sin shall not have dominion over me again. Because all the grace I need, all the strength I need, he has purchased with his own blood. And he has transferred unto me. And as I live my life this week for you, life of victory over sin. As I live my life for the rest part or half of the year, life of victory over sin and over sickness the lord will give you grace you will stand you will stand you will stand your life will never be the same again from this day in jesus name we pray let the church of god say amen if you appreciate what the lord jesus has done in your life a better amen if you know that the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus will never be in vain in your life, can I hear a greater amen? From today, sin is conquered in your life. Backsliding is conquered in your life. From today, it's forward ever for you. You will never return back in the name of Jesus. You will stand, you will serve the Lord. I say you will serve the Lord. And when he shall be drinking the Lord's Supper in heaven, you will be with him over there. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you he died on the cross. Our Savior died on the cross. He was laid in the tomb. He is not longer in the tomb. He's alive again. He came out of the tomb. He resurrected from the tomb. And because of that resurrection power, today there is salvation free and full and free. Today there is sanctification. Today there is baptism in the Holy Ghost. There is healing. Every good sin is death, burial, resurrection, as purchased. We receive in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, we will stand for Jesus. In this sinful world, we will stand for Jesus. From today, sin shall not have dominion over us. We will value our salvation. We will cherish his sacrifice on the cross. And Lord, we pray every cost of the law there is deliverance this morning they are broken in the name of jesus lord jesus thank you for what you have done that is not by our power not by our might but by your grace by your spirit you have sacrificed you have saved us and here we are standing with you lord temptations will come we will overcome our temptation from today sin will never have dominion in our lives Anywhere we go to walk, travel here and there, we will remain as children of God. And on that last day, when the trumpet will sound, wherever we are, we are coming out of this world. We will make it in the name of Jesus. 
Lord, all the benefits of your death, all the benefits of your sacrifice, of your blood, of your broken body that we have not received from this morning, let there be manifestation. I say let there be manifestation. It will manifest in our families, manifest in our lives, manifest in our churches, manifest in deeper life, all over in the name of Jesus. This word we have received will be written on the tables of our hearts. As we step out of this auditorium, no demon will steal the word out of our hearts. Today, Sunday, the word will guide us. Tomorrow, the word will guide us. Till the end of the year, the word will guide us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we lift up our daddy before you. You will feel him more and more. And he has told us that as he's saved, we are going to be saved. As he's righteous, we are going to be righteous. Father, we decree you have been helping him for all these years. You will help every one of us. On that day in heaven, we shall dine together at the foot of the Lord Jesus. Keep us to the very end, O oh God. And as we go home, cover us with the blood of Jesus. Every spot of accident, as we come, they will clear out of the way for us. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.